we are now talking about a tool that is also available for pediatricians. And this is something that you as a pediatrician or pediatric expert can use in your own clinic. You can take a picture of a patient, analyze this photograph and read an output that shows how likely a patient is to benefit from a clinical genetics condition. An analysis output would look like this, and it would suggest it overall after the analysis of the facial features, how likely the patient is to have an underlying genetic diagnosis as the cause for developmental delay, growth problems, or other presenting features. So let me show you some examples. These are individuals that I'm personally familiar with. And when you look at these facial photographs, you might wanna think about which of these patients looks most distinctive and would benefit from a clinical genetics evaluation. When we look at their scores, you see that some of these individuals have a very low score. This patient here has an indeterminate range. This individual here has the highest score for a likely underlying genetic condition. And here's another individual with a low score. Now, not all of these patients have had a full genetics evaluation, but I know their current best diagnosis. And for this patient here, it is being a medical student. This individual is now a software designer. This patient has been diagnosed with smith lemley opitz syndrome after a full genetics evaluation that included analysis of this facial photograph. And here is another medical student. So when you use phase two gene in your own office, here is how this would look for you. You use the handheld tool, a phone, for example, to take a picture of the patient, and it takes about a minute for the system to analyze the photograph. The output will look like this, and it will give you a readout on how likely the individual is to benefit from a full genetics evaluation and to possibly have a genetic cause for potential presenting medical issues. If you are set up in your clinic, that way you can also use the share phenotype button to automatically forward patients you are concerned about to a clinical geneticist that you collaborate with. So this would be something that can get set up for you.